there. It is time right now, as always, to salute our troops. You know, today's salute comes from Tanya Ganey and her four kids to her husband, James, who's currently serving in Iraq. Tanya says they just love him and they miss him so much. And they expect to have him home in the next few weeks. I know those are some excited kids then. And thank you so much, all of our military members, for the job that you do that takes you away from your family for long periods of time. Go to CNN.com slash Robin if you have somebody that you want to salute. President Obama spoke to the Muslim world in his first interview since taking office on Al Arabiya TV. He pledged to speak from a Muslim capital in the first 100 days of his administration. The president also said that he wants the Muslim world to know that America is not the enemy. Um, we can have legitimate dis uh, disagreements but still be respectful. I cannot respect terrorist organizations that would kill innocent civilians, and we will hunt them down. Uh, but to the broader Muslim world, uh, what we are going to be offering is a hand of friendship. Well, the president also said that it was important to get engaged right away in the Middle East peace process. And just today, Israel and Hamas broke a 10 days old ceasefire. Both sides say that an Israeli soldier and a Palestinian have been killed in the renewed fighting. Now, President Obama heads to Capitol Hill to meet with Republicans trying to win them over to support the stimulus bill. He really wants this to be a bipartisan thing, and they're angry, saying that the bill is stuffed full of welfare and pork. Good morning. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, and it's this is a confusing thing to look at because, you know, one person's pork might be another person's, well, this is creating jobs. So one example is $50 million to resod the National Mall. But you can see an argument that it would create jobs millions for the arts, for scientists to study weather patterns like global warming, money to fix up federal buildings. So the money is being used for federal agencies to create jobs, but are they long-term jobs? And with all this money being spent, almost a trillion dollars, there are certainly going to be some projects where a lot of people say, hmm, I don't know if we should be paying for that. A big question about this is, how are you going to feel this? And by that, I really mean not so much the infrastructure and the jobs part, but the tax cuts that are part of this bill. Are you going to get it one check? Are you going to see your paycheck go up a little bit because the taxes go down? So that's something that we'll be waiting and looking for. It seems like some of the early reports are that the president would prefer it if your paycheck got a little bit larger every week or so because there are some studies that point to the fact that you might be more willing to spend it then as opposed to taking that check and using it to pay off your debt, which personally I think might be better for you, but all right, this might be better for the economy. More details on the surprising jump in home sales last month. People are taking advantage of falling prices. The Wall Street Journal had some more on this story about the home sales yesterday. The deals are the best in Las Vegas. Home values dropped nearly 27% there last year, so some people moving in. Dallas saw the smallest decline in home prices. They've done pretty well, just 1.8%. Citigroup, the bank that ate $45 billion of your taxpayer money, my bank too, I don't want you to think I'm too smart for Citibank or something, <laughs> is they're uh, going to spend $45 million on a plush new aircraft, says the New York Post. This is the Falcon 7X, it seats 12. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with the old one? <laughs> I mean, look, Citigroup says that they signed this contract before any of the bailout money and that they're going to sell some of their planes to make up for it. But I don't know, right? Isn't this like if you borrow $10,000 from your dad and then you have big parties? Don't you think you're dead? <laughs> I mean, you got to pay back the money first before you buy things like this. I think they do not get it. They it, do not get the difference. Thank you. It looks bad. For really, I mean, it's a nice point, but it looks bad. All right, thank you. Um, some people are calling it, okay, well, you know what, let me tell you about this. We're going to get you back with more information about this. What our affiliates say is the crash of a FedEx plane at Lubbock Airport there, and we're learning details. We'll tell you how we, um, what we know about the two pilots who were involved, how they're doing this morning. Your Money Home Front, brought to you by Public Storage. Get the details about our $1 special promotion. Call 1-888-44-STORE.
Got a real storage problem? Call the real storage experts. Call Public Storage at 1-888-44-STORE to get your first month for just...